And it's been more than a week since Broward County students returned to school under a mask mandate, and nearly a week since the State Board of Education ordered Broward school officials to lift that mandate or face the consequences. One of the county's high schools has opened a safe area where students can take a mask break during school. CBS 4's Joan Murray is live in Pompano Beach with details. Joan. Well, Lauren, at this school and all the public schools in South Florida, really, masks are mandatory, but this war of words between the Broward School District and the governor continues to heat up. It's hard to breathe in after a long time. It gets hot. Brandon Bryce is spending nearly eight hours a day going from class to class wearing a mask. It's required in Broward schools. Struggle, but you got to do what you got to do. Three, two, one. Bryson's classmates at Blanche Ely getting a bit of a mask break with the unveiling of an open air cafeteria. It's a godsend. It's outside, so they have the ability to be out in the air and, and still be in a community with their peers. It's a breather for school board members still at odds with the state over the governor's order to make masks optional. There is, is an argument with, with a, a law, it should be challenged in court. Uh, otherwise, you cannot flake. Fl flagrantly disregard statutes and orders in violation of law. And I'm asking you, what's an acceptable death rate in your opinion for children? A decision is expected soon on the mask legal challenge parents launched. We want the trauma to stop. Miami-Dade said they have not heard from the state yet over their mask mandate. We've had by now maybe 10 parents out of uh, over 300,000 students, uh, you know, file a complaint. So you see it's a small number down in Miami-Dade, a small number here in Broward. However, the state did write to the Broward District last night and told them they have to, on a day-to-day -day basis, tell them how many students are refusing to wear the mask, and they have to give those student names and the addresses of their parents. Now, we do expect tomorrow morning that that judge in Tallahassee is going to roll on this lawsuit that may settle once and for all whether parents should have the right to say whether their child wears mask or districts make that mandate to protect the health and safety of their students. We'll let you know. Reporting live in Pompano Beach tonight, Joan Murray, CBS 4 News.